Hello YouTube, Kipper4472 here, bring you guys an episode on Minecraft, so I hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to be showing you five easy Minecraft farms that you definitely need to have in your early game Minecraft world. So, let's begin. Okay, so number one is a tree farm. Now, to build this farm, all you need to go and do is get a block of your choice and go nine blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now on the bottom of that ninth block, you're going to place a slab of your choice. And when you've done that, you're going to go to that slab and go in any direction five blocks out. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to place another slab. And you're going to do this in all directions for the, all six slabs you have. Once you've done that, destroy your structure blocks that you have placed. And then you can plant saplings underneath the slabs, directly underneath the slabs. Therefore, when the saplings grow, they always become smaller trees as it stops, the slab stops the trees becoming big trees that are known to chop down, like this tree over here. This tree takes absolutely ages to chop down. It's got all the sticky bits out and it's not very nice. So this allows you to chop down and get wood easily and it always leaves a space, a one block gap in between each of the trees. So that's number one. Now number two is a berry farm. This isn't as simple as the tree farm, but it's still a very good farm. It's got a hopper minecart that just goes underneath. It just go, yeah, it goes like that. <laughs> and on top here, you've got a glass, a grass layer with berries on and some foxes in. Now the fox is when the berries grow, the foxes automatically harvest the berries and drop a few. So where, so when they drop them, the hopper minecart picks them up and puts them in the in the chest. So this has been. This farm's been going for a while now and it's collected just over a stack and a bit of berries. It's a little more complicated to build and it takes a bit more resources but still quite easy to build. Now number three is a sugar cane farm. Now, this is pretty important in this game Minecraft as it can give you sugar but also you can get paper which makes books which makes bookshelves for your enchanting table. It works pretty well here. You can just do that. All the pistons fire. And that's been going for a while now. It's collected half a stack of sugar cane. Unfortunately, some items do get left. Do get, don't, don't get picked up by the hoppers and get left in this middle part here. But the majority of the items do get picked up by the hoppers. So we've got a positive there. Number four is another food farm then. So in this food farm, it's pretty simple. You can either grow carrots, potatoes, beetroot or wheat. And you can even adapt this farm to grow nether warts. Where's that gone? Never mind. Even adapt it to grow nether warts just by swapping the dirt out for soul sand. It still works the same. This one's not as complicated as maybe the berry farm or sugarcane farm. You just need some dispensers. And some repeaters going to the back of them and then a redstone line going around to the front with a button. Now when you hit the button it sends out water from the dispensers, picks all the carrots, puts them down into the front thing, front water stream and puts them into the chest and they're just filling up here now. We've got quite a few carrots from that one but not all of them were grown so that's a good thing and then to stop the water stream all you need to do is, if I can get to the button, flick the button again and the water stream will stop. And then you can take some of your drops and replant it. And that's it. So now you can place your leftover drops in there. And that's it, that's the food farm. Now the last farm I'm going to show you is I think one of the most important 
Farms. Well, it's not really a farm. It's one of the most important things you need in a Minecraft survival world. And that is an automatic furnace. And that's annoying me. But we can continue. And it's really simple to build this. You just need a few, six hoppers and a few furnaces. And, all it do, and how it works is you put coal in this chest and whatever you're cooking in this chest and then it smelts it all down automatically and it will put the finished product in this chest so we'll see here in just a second there we go and it's now put our steak in the large chest and of course we can take the leftover coal and the beef here and put it in the other side therefore we can cook it even faster and that's it basically yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time goodbye